Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you my new test bench for GPU testing. And we're going to test this RX 7800 XT. Uh, this is the Sapphire Pulse model, but we're going to test it in some Blender rendering and compare it to other GPUs. All right, guys, so here is the new test bench frame. It's fairly similar to mining frames that I've had, but it has this um, kind of what would be like a um, the back of a PC case. So I can secure GPUs better. You can see this doesn't move at all. Um, but the intent of this is to give each GPU I test a full 16 Gen 3 lane um, slot so they they aren't bottlenecked by risers or anything like that. Um, but I'll go through the parts here real fast just so you know what I'm working with. Uh, this is the um, Ryzen 7 5800X CPU. I have a single fan radiator here. Uh, I, I know this radiator is blocked, but the CPU is not running very hard when I test GPUs. So unless this becomes a problem doing some CPU testing, I'm not worried about it. Uh, but this is an MSI X470 motherboard. Um, so everything on here can run up to PCI Gen 3. So the GPU slot is 16 full lanes of Gen 3. Uh, the RAM, I have two sticks of Corsair DDR4, 3600 megahertz. And the total is 32 gigabytes on that. And you can see I'm running uh, just a simple um, 240 gig SATA SSD on um, six gigabit per second speed. Uh, this, I believe, does have NVMe slots. Yeah, see here, but I don't use them. Um, the SATA SSDs seem to work fine. All of the um, scenes I test are stored on the PC storage anyway, so on my uh, storage server, so I don't need, I don't necessarily need any big hard drives for this. Um, and then finally, the power supply. This is an EVGA GT series 1000 watt power supply. And you can see I have um, basically three extra uh, GPU power connectors here, and I'm using two in the 7800 XT. And um, here finally is the GPU for this test, this is the um, Sapphire brand um, AMD 7800 XT with 16 gigabytes of VRAM. So uh, yeah, it's a nice compact relatively to new cards. It's, it's, uh, it's just more than two slots thick. So on some motherboards, I won't be able to run uh, two of these, but on this one, as you can see, the slot is clear for the second one, so um, this one would fit in smaller cases just fine versus some of the other behemoths I have. But yeah, that's the new test bench. Um, it's just nice to be able to hook the GPU up and secure it better. So um, I'm going to rerun all of the AMD GPUs I have on this to check and see if these older Dell machines that I normally use are causing any bottlenecks with um, their older processors and older RAM. But uh, yeah, that's the new test bench. So that's what we're working with. So on the screen here, I have the render farm specs pulled up. I'm using the render 11 machine as the test bench. And here I'm remoting into the test bench computer. We're going to start off the rendering tests with the Blender classroom scene. So I'm going to make sure to switch it to GPU compute for the render device and then um, switch to HIP RT for the cycles render API. And then we're going to render the image. And I've sped this up so that we don't have to just watch it doing this. And I'll have task manager open so you can see um, that the GPU is working. Okay, so this one took 28 seconds. So I'll log that, we'll talk about the results later, and we'll move on to the barbershop test. So I'll get that opened up here. 
Again, switch to GPU compute and enable the 7800 XT as the cycles render device. And this is sped up quite a bit, but this one took a minute and 57 and a half seconds. So I'll log that real quick. And then we'll move on to the Lone Monk test. And I'll start the render here. And this footage here is sped up even more. The Lone Monk scene is the heaviest test of all of these scenes that I'll run. And this one got done in three minutes and 35 and a half seconds. So I'll plug that in. And finally, we'll run the Scanlands test, which is the Blender 3.3 splash screen. So I'll make sure that the render device is set to the 7800 XT and we'll render the image. And this one gets done in one minute and 42.76 seconds. All right, guys, now we're gonna go back through the test results for the 7800 XT um, and compare them to the other cards. Uh, this is the classroom results for all the GPUs I've tested. I'm gonna sort them from smallest to largest in time to complete the test. So you can see that the uh, 7800 XT took 28 seconds to run the classroom scene versus about 34 and a half seconds is what it was running before. So you get back about six and a half seconds, which is definitely notable, um, but that's where we're at. Now, what's interesting is um, this card is now almost as fast as a 3070 and uh, is a, a few seconds, four and a half seconds faster than a 2060 Super. So it definitely makes an impact on a new system. But let's go look at the barbershop scenes. If, if you want to compare the rest of these GPUs, then just pause it and you can see all the results up on here. Let's go to barbershop. I'm going to resort this again. So now I've resorted these and it looks like the 7800 XT has moved up quite a few seconds. So going from about 143 seconds to 117.5. Uh, again, comparing that to the 4070, um, it's not nearly twice as fast in a bigger scene. Uh, so 80 seconds for the 4070 versus 117 and a half for the 7800 XT. And this did go down about 26 seconds compared to um, the 6800 XT. So we do have a good result from the new machine. Now onto the Lone Monk scene. Let me resort this. So it looks like in the Lone Monk scene, the 7800 XT is 215 and a half seconds, which is just a little faster than a 3080, which is notable because the 3080 is a very fast card. Um, and it's about, uh, 21 and a half seconds slower than a 4070. Finally, let's look at scan lands. Smallest to largest here, we'll sort again. Uh, the 7800 XT took off about 22 seconds, which is nearly 25% versus the uh, previous result I had with the 6800 XT. So the biggest conclusion here is moving to the test bench from a an older system did give the AMD GPU a bit of a speed up. So uh, I'm gonna rerun all of my AMD GPUs on the newer system, and then I'm going to spot check some of my other cards like the 4070. Um, that may or may not get a speed up on a newer system because that one was also tested on that Dell. I'll check that and I'll update everybody with the new video. Also, just a note, this here is some results from the CPU benchmarks. Um, I have a video and a live stream, I believe, about what this test is all entailing, but basically you can download the CPU test scenes from links I've provided in uh, my videos and on the community tab, and you can benchmark your CPU with some baking in Blender, and it's entirely free. So if you wanna try that out, 
feel free to comment with whatever results you get. That's it for now. It looks like it looks like the 7800 XT is a little bit more of a considerable um, purchase now with these slightly improved benchmarks. But I'll have more information and update all of my GPUs on the new test bench soon. It's just going to take me a day or two to run them all. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Hopefully this is helpful. Like, sub, all, the, all that stuff if, uh, if you find it interesting. And I hope to see you here soon.